Hey, guess what? Guess what? I got a Dark Venusaur! <laughs> but only, only one Dark Venusaur, and I gotta trade it, so I, I probably wanna get a second copy to say that I have one copy of everything by the end of the game, but yeah. Or in Pollen, it's either a Sleep Poison, con a Sleep and Poison, Confused and Poison, or a Paralyzed and Poison. The effect is chosen at random, so you've seen that one before, but we needed something like that in our collection in general, so... Anyway, I'm over here at the Pokemon Dome to show you that uh, I kind of was able to do the 10 battles off-camera and doing Link battles, very boring battling myself, but anyway... <laughs> So it's unlocked! Oh! I've never done this before though, so... I, I mean, I, I, I've, I've obviously beaten all the characters in the game before, but I mean, I've never done this tournament before, so we're gonna see how things go. I came over from GR Island just to participate in the Grandmaster Cup. This tournament was my big chance to have a duel with a Grandmaster. We'll see what happens. I'm so excited and nervous! <laughs> Well, I assure you they're not as difficult as they sound. I do. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Rod may be the final hurdle of the Grandmaster Cup, but only the winner of the Grandmaster Cup gets to fight him. And I do anything to get the chance to battle a card master like him. You know, they aren't, like, refusing battles as far as I'm aware. It's, I, 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 it's like I just kind of walked in here and I was able to battle him. Never mind. <laughs> The rules of the Grandmaster Cup say eight entrants duel in a tournament. The winner of that tournament gets to battle a Grandmaster, and that if that entrance beats a Grandmaster, they're the champion. However, entrants only get to use one deck throughout the, oh, throughout the whole event. These are the rules that Rod himself has created for the Cup. So, wait a second. There's a Grand... say, ten entrants... does that mean I... it's like a... elimination style? Then does that mean I'm gonna be battling three, then a Grandmaster? Or is it I battle eight straight? I don't think it's eight straight, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I guess I'll find out though. Alright, so it's the same dialogue. Same dialogue. Same dialogue, alright. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the Grandmaster Cup. We're accepting participants here, so I probably shouldn't have talked to you first. Well, winners of the tournament will get to duel a Pokemon card Grandmaster. Furthermore, a special prize is given if they beat the Grandmaster. Zapdos, level 68. <laughs> Togepi, level 8. <laughs> you 2 level 30. Flying Pikachu, level 12. The winner gets to choose two of those four promotional cards to their prize. Ooh! So, Mint, would like to enter the Grandmaster Cup? No. I see it's too bad. Please come back next time. Uh, oh, wait, are you the- Oh, so it's the same dialogue on either side, okay. <laughs> then please, enter the challenge hall! D are those two tables ever used?! <laughs> now then, let's get these- <laughs> let's get things started with this Grandmaster Cup. The Grandmasters are presiding. Let's start the battles! We'll now announce the dueling pairs for the tournament! Pairs? I don't think we're, like, having double battles here with teammates, but not. Nah. <laughs> uh, we should- Oh, okay, so it is a bracket dealio. So, okay, so eight. Yeah, that does make sense. Oh, those are all... Clubmasters, I see. Oh, my. <laughs> so it doesn't say who of the Grandmasters will fight at the end of it, though, so... I guess, since it looks like there's going to be four battles, two two duels per part, sounds about right. Alright, Grandmaster to Cup Tournament Table, I'll press, I have to press the B button to get out of that for some reason, not A to accept it or something. Let's now start the tournament with our first match! On this side, a player known for defeating Team GR, Mint! Still no fanfare, okay. And on this side, the Science Club Master, Rick! Now then, let's start the duel! Are both players ready to begin? Uh, so can I still save between... Yes, I can. <laughs> so, okay, uh, so I, I, I guess we can save between, but we can't change our deck? Or maybe we can't save after the first duel or something like that? We'll find out! 
then get ready to play six prize cards aside. Okay, ready, go! Dark Scientist Deck Returns, which wasn't that difficult of a deck in hindsight. So, <laughs> he's got no basics, that's okay. So, yeah, uh, since I don't know how things are gonna go, go, I'm probably gonna not hold back a whole. <laughs> uh, Hitmonchan sounds good then. Mop Shop, oops, and six prize cards. Tails fails, and he's not going to be able to attack me for two turns with that. So, or maybe I should have, <laughs> you know, if I'm not going to be able to change my deck, maybe I should have put all my energy removal in this deck. Ah, whatever, it's really fine. <laughs> I think should be fine, but especially since a lot of the critters in this deck uses very little energy in general here, so. Alright, let's jab. Hopefully that coughing won't cause me too much ire, because it can cause confusion and poison, depending on which side the coin flips, so... I'm kind of hoping for poison, you know, in that sort of sense. Thank you. <laughs> because confusion what could potentially stop me from being able to do anything, so... Uh, I think I'll just use the switch card to go to Voltorb. i just go... Just be a speedball. There we go, and take on that coughing with another attack. That way I don't burn an energy card, and I'll still be able to get my 20 attack off. And... okay, poison. So Voltorb is going to take 20 damage, but I'll be able to knock out that coughing with ease and happiness. Without causing too much issue with my Hitmonchan. Um... Probably Hitmonchan with that lightning, I'm thinking. Because I could potentially get the special punch off, so... Oh, Macho! <laughs> now it makes me wanna... Makes me think I should have put that lightning on there, but well, too late now. I wouldn't have known what prize card I would have gotten, you know? And sticky hands... You know, maybe that wasn't such a bad idea, because I, st I can still do 40 damage with Hitmonchan... Uh, after the knockout of Voltorb, because I won't have to deal with... The Grimer giving me bad coin flips all day and all night, so... Uh, I might as well dump everything out in Professor Oak. It's only two energy cards I'm discarding here, and I'm, I'll probably get one of those of each kind. Yep, after I get a new hand, so... Just how the probabilities go. Oh, Machamp. And Electabuzz, always nice to see. Voltorb as well, hello, Special Punch. <laughs> so that's... Looking pretty good again in terms of my setup as I was mathing and the math that worked out. I don't know if he's gonna want a power of coughing and all on. Yeah, I was gonna say. His coughing is gonna be. Oh man! Oh man! My trainer cards! Oh man! He doesn't have trainer cards. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really have that much of importance, but details! Uh, I guess I'll start going for the Machamp then. I suppose. And special punch. I'm not gonna bother with the jabbing. I mean, he, who knows if he's gonna decide to heal and, you know, he wanna do as much damage as possible in that regard, so. And. No, I'll do Electabuzz. Just to get that in case of, uh, I have issues with my Hitmonchan. I could either jab or special punch. Either or would do, but I just special punch just because. And now this is where the coin flips could kill me. <laughs> all right, okay, poison. That, that that that's okay, I guess. That's 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 all right. <laughs> Actually, no. This isn't the Grimer that has coin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah. If it has two energy cards. Yeah. So that could have caused me ire, but it did not. So <laughs> I will be very happy with that. <laughs> It doesn't have the energy to do so, so I'll just continue on with my beatdown strategies and call it a turn. Master Ball's got the Ekans for, I, I guess, it's okay. It's, 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 I don't know, it's, it's not going to do much with that. But <laughs> I mean, He'll be able to knock out the Hitmonchan with this Ekans, but I've got kind of a good reserve going on here. <laughs> And I wonder what I should put out next, though. Uh, I don't have Machamp ready, so I guess maybe Electabuzz? Probably, and like, 
start out immediately with the Thunder Punching instead of the Thunder Shock, just because I'll be able to do more damage that way. Uh, I'll get Machamp going on the side still. Oh, no, shoot, I did it again where I attached the energy without... Mm, now I'm going to have to do Thunder Shock now. Well, at least I got the paralysis out of it. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I'd just attach the energy to Electabuzz. No, I just... My dumbness attached it to something else, but it sort of worked out anyway. I don't think it would have been that big of a deal either way, in all honesty. So head flip, please. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, Ekans would have been KO'd now, because, you know, I would have had two Thunder Punches in. But then again, Octobuzz may very well have been poisoned, so maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, poison now. <laughs> Just never know how the coin flips are gonna go. Maybe it wouldn't have been poisoned last turn. I don't know. <laughs> well, there's our Machamp. And I guess I'll just Thunder Shock because I don't want to potentially cause 10 damage to myself for no good reason. And got that Lightning. It'll be able to knock out that Electabuzz pretty easy. And then I put in Machamp and game over. So <laughs> there you go. You do your little nibbling. Grab a prize card. I'll take my last prize card. And there we go. That is what we call a game. I might as well see what the poop. I'll, uh, I'll get out of my, <laughs> my hand anyway, you know? Let's just see here. Anything else I need to do here? Anything I want to swap to? No, I don't think so. So let's just see what I get with Professor Oak. Just for the kicks. And... Hmm. Well, now that I think about it, since these are all Grandmasters, it kind of makes sense that it's... I mean, excuse me, Clubmasters. Kind of makes sense that it's called the Grandmaster Cup because it's you know it's all the masters in one place. Although not technically all of them because it's minus one in place of me, which I definitely have more Grand Mastery than the masters. <laughs> so, so I guess that makes sense. Anyway, I win. So well, there's my other gust of win. All right, sorry Rick, but your deck is not as threatening as it ever has been. <laughs> and win number one, but what happens after this? Sorry for your loss, Lyric. Please take us to the battle hall. And next up, who won the other game at the other brackets? It is going to be Isaac, I see. I see. And then it's going to be Gene and Mitch on the other bracket. I would have to give my, my bets on Mitch between the two, but anyway. Now we'll start the second round of our tournament. Looking for win number two, here's the defeater of Team GR Mint. Yes, thank you again. Yes, sad to mention that. And on this side, the Lightning Club Master Isaac. Okay, folks, let's start the battle. As always, everyone played the rules of the Grandmaster Cup. It means you'll be able to both fight the total of six prize cards. All right then, ready, go. Oh, you can say, oh man. <laughs> Zap's explosion deck, let's go. Oh man, no saving. Well, I just got fighting Pokemon, so I mean he's got he's got his flying, but still, you know, it's it's gonna be a back and forth dealio more than anything. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I got I got a guessing game here. I either put out Machop and he has a flying Pokemon which resists it, or I put a flying Pokemon out and he's got a lightning Pokemon that zaps it. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm probably better off with the Machop because it's got more HP, and I have Scoop Up anyway, so... Just see how things go. And I go first, so let's see what he has here. Okay, he's got Electabuzz, that's a good start for me then. And yeah, the Electabuzz is a pretty powerful little cookie there, but... <laughs> the thing about it is I can do double damage to that cookie. Um, and, oh, and with Machoke... If it gets paralysis, uh, if Machop gets paralysis, that will be uh, instant cure for it. So I guess I won't even need to scoop up. I could save that for later if I need it. Uh, to Voltorb. Ah, yeah, he's letting the Electabuzz go. Uh, which Voltorb is that? Oh, whoops, that's uh, oh, he's got both of these. Okay, uh, that's that might end up being pretty easy. <laughs> um. Mm. Hmm. Do I want to just straight out evolve, or do I want to wait in case of status effects? You know what I mean? 
Because, yeah. Because it's... Yeah, it's agonizing sauce is, th is 20. Anyway, so I think what I should do is just do that, and then low kick. And if Machop gets paralyzed, then I'll evolve it, attach another energy, and continue my onslaught against his critters. Probably. Now, are you gonna get heads? Probably. Of course you will. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? That's just how this game goes for me. Oh, I got another Machop. I could also scoop up and go over to the ma to that Machop uh, if I had another fighting energy, but for now, let's just go do that agonizing thrust. Doesn't matter if I get heads or tails, because it's going to be a knockout, and let's go. <laughs> uh, oh, it's got the explosion going there. Well, possibly. Um, probably heads. Oh, no! <laughs> I was out of bad heads. <laughs> Uh, but in, in any case, I should definitely get Machop going for the impending uh, explosion. Probably it'll happen. And here it comes! Here it comes! Oh, actually, you can't. This is his last Pokemon. So, <laughs> that's right. Well, and yeah, I was going to say he's got to hope for some uh, paralysis out of that. That is not happening. I'll just I'll just finish him off here. <laughs> well, that was a lot quicker for those first two opponents than I thought. Maybe I should just do the whole cup. This part, I don't know. This just seems like that went pretty quick. I was gonna gonna do as said as I said when I was planning as I go two and two, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry for your loss, Isaac. Please exit the battle hall. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's get to our other battles! Oh, yep, Mitch won! <laughs> Just as predicted. Alright, the competition is heating up as we're near the end of the tournament. Let's begin the final match on the Challenger's Brackets. On this side, seeking to claim the championship, it's Mint! And on this side, the Fighting Club Master Mitch! Let's get this match underway! I'm sure both of you know the rules blah 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 six blah 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 <laughs> Surging Iron Fist! Let's go! I'm hoping for a flying Pokemon. <laughs> or for for obvious reasons here. Here's the Spear, okay. Although, oh, Electabuzz might be a better lead. I mean, yeah, it's weak to fighting, but it's got the... Uh, it's got the Paralysis Sedelia. Ah, I'll do Spear, oh, it's, it's probably the safest bet. Uh, yeah, I'll just put everything on there. That's like all my evolutionary lines in general, so it should be just fine. Alright, oh, Kangaskhan's up first. See, I, that's... Uh, see, I don't know if Spearow is a better choice then, but I could just free switch. Uh, well... Although, wait a second. Well, if I get a fighting energy... And I didn't. I was gonna say, if I get a fighting energy, I can use Hitmonchan. Um... Maybe what I should do is this. Retreat to Speedball Voltorb. And then nick off 20 that way. And then just kind of debate on what I want to do in the meantime. Because 20 is pretty respectable, I would say. You, you've seen the 20s do pretty well. Ooh, absolutely no dizziness from that whatsoever. Other than, I guess, the animation? I don't know. <laughs> and... Yeah, I guess I'll do Electabuzz. I suppose, because I'll, I'll be able to get the Thunder Punch going, even though it's a double weakness and whatnot. It's going to be a, uh, um, it still can do a lot of damage pretty quickly, so. And hit Von Chan for the Inevitable Lightning. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> an Inevitable, uh, Colorless, why did I say Lightning? Because I'm looking at a Lightning. And... I don't, I don't even think I should bother with the plus power or anything like that. I'll just speedball. <laughs> just finish finish the turn, let him knock out the Voltorb, and then I'll finish off the Kangaskhan. As such, there you go. You take your first prize card, and I'll retaliate with my own prize card. But who should I plop out? Probably the Chan. Probably. I mean, yeah, he's got... The, mm. I don't- I just don't really s wait... Uh, mm, that corkscrew punch, though. <laughs> um... What do you say? 
we go and do something sneaky here. We're gonna go jab the Kangaskhan and get, hopefully, the special punch powered up by the time he puts out the Machop, and then maybe I can just wipe it out with a plus power. Maybe. <laughs> if not, it'll do a bunch of damage to hit Monchan, I suppose. I got Macho, can yeah. mm. Looks like that's not happening. Well, well, hold on a sec. I can still plus power. Because, yeah... I still have the... other Voltorb that I could do damage with. Hmm... Oh, maybe I don't have to plus power now. I can plus power with anything in general, I suppose, but... Hmm... But yeah, two jabs and a plus power would take out the Machop, but it's going to leave Hitmonchan with just 10 HP, which is kind of unfortunate since it's such a good critter. Oh, no, 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 my... Well, I guess that's fine, but I was going to... Actually, that might be better off, come to think of it. I mean, he'll get the prize card, but so will I. And I'll have a mostly okay Hitmonchan, so... As promised, and there's your jab. So... <laughs> Now, I'm gonna hope for something. Draw power! Eh. <laughs> Got the other sets of Machop here. It's, it's kind of energy inefficient Machop, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got, it's got the colorless dealio, but it's still a very, very energy inefficient. Oh, Defender. Uh, that could work. <laughs> um, yeah. It's his jab. <laughs> I still don't have a fighting energy, so I'm kind of, kind of iffy straights, but so it's probably only a matter of time before I get something. See, the kick only did 10 damage out of that. Oh, there's some draw power. Very nice. Voltorb, lightning. Uh, uh, well, he's got all fighting, so maybe I should focus on the Spiro. You know, Golfiro. Well, if I can. I just... Uh, maybe I'll save the Voltorb, because he's been sneak attacking with the powers of the uh, Gust of Wind, so... Okay, let's call that a turn. You go ahead, knock out the Hitmonchan. Oh no, why would you? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that's alright, but... You do realize that you're gonna get spear right? right? You, you do realize that, don't you? This, yeah, that's, I don't think it's quite as worth as, as much as you think it is. <laughs> Um, I don't think I should go agility, because I don't, I don't think he can, well, maybe he might be able to, if he gets two heads with the double kick. Mm. That's, uh, mm. 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 Well, at the very least, I know I should attach that, and peck or wing attack will work just fine. I believe they'll have the same animation either way, too, so. Alright, Hitman Lee. Best of luck with your coin flips! There's one head. Oh wow, he actually got it! 25% chance! <laughs> uh, fighting energy. Do I want to just go straight to the Firo? Because I'm pretty sure now the Firo is within KO range. Because it's, oh, it's 70 HP, not 60 HP. Okay, I must have been thinking of the other Firo. So that is safe to do then. And we shall agility. There we go! I, I didn't know if I'd get heads or tails there. But now that I got the heads, we know Furo is good to go. And yeah, you stuck. That means I win, and no matter what. So, yep. <laughs> that was, I think, pretty decently played on my part, I'd say. So, woo! Alright, Grandmaster time. Let's go! If it's Steve, I may I may lose my poop. <laughs> this is gonna be him blasting himself with a zap dose, probably. And of course we have the winner, Mint. Of course, it's, I, I don't know why, I just have not been losing much lately. <laughs> Alright. Mint is now a, has won the chance to challenge a Grandmaster, but who? Uh, sorry for your loss, Mitch. Please exit the battle hall. Wait, can I choose who to battle, or is it just- it's gonna be random? 
Hmm. We shall see. Now for the match we've been waiting for! The Grandmaster Challenge! Does the tournament champion have the skills to beat a Grandmaster? I hate to break it to you, but I kinda had to beat all four of these straights to beat the game, because I needed their cards, and... Yeah! Let's meet the Grandmaster- oh, Master Leader Rod and find out! Wait, so I'm playing Rod, or is he just gonna be talking? Uh, now to announce the Grandmaster is your opponent. Grandmaster- IT IS STEVE! <laughs> Steve is the cheerful electric Grandmaster. So, here comes the Zapdos self-attacks. Okay, maybe it could, you know, it could attack me and it'll just... Oh, there'll be egg on my face, but I, I swear, it just seems like they keep attacking themselves. Let's show the crowd a truly electrifying battle. Place aside six prize cards, let's have a great card battle. Yes, let's do so. Hopefully that Aerodactyl won't cause me too much ire here. I don't think it will, because I use a lot of basic Pokémon in on itself. But yeah, hit, uh, I mean, the Aerodactyl would be, uh, uh, you know, the stops the evolutions. I can't do stuff like Dark Electro, the Machoke Machamp line. If it, if it happens, I don't know if it will, but at the very least, I should probably lead with Hitmonchan, because lightning Pokémon, of course. So, here we go. We begin! Electabuzz starts. Electabuzz, Voltor, Voltor. So he's probably got the Zapdos in his hand already. Just just knowing the game. So, prepare to see him zap himself pretty quick. Probably. And... I don't really see any other reason to do anything else. Just jab. <laughs> just take out the Electabuzz next turn. And call it a day. Well, unless it gets... Okay, oh, he's got that Zapdos. Uh, it must have been what he, draw he drew, and he doesn't have the legendary one in his hand. And yeah, no paralysis. I was gonna say, if he, if he keeps getting heads on his coin flip, I maybe I wouldn't be able to knock out the Electabuzz so easily, but... When he ha when he does a Thunder Punch, he, he would have no choice but to let me attack then. Uh, is, there, is there any reason why I shouldn't power up the... Hitmonchan over my Spiro? I'm not sure, really. I mean, he, yeah, he has he has a Zapdos, which we'll probably use as resistance. But I need to be able to switch. Although, hmm? I thought I have Scoop Up. Maybe I will go for that. Because I'll probably put all Zapdos next. And I'm going to have to start nicking away at that, so I might as well Scoop Up. There it is. And it's going to take him three turns to power up that Zapdos, so we'll see how that goes. As I said, scoop up Hitmonchan, put out Spearow so I can get some damage output there. Hitmonchan back in play, wing attack, go! So, he'll probably be able to knock out the Spearow. Oh, oh, he's not- oh! He's not going to power up the Zapdos. Really? Oh, that may have been a mistake. Because I I would have had trouble doing damage to that Zapdos with uh, Hitmonchan. But now I think it might be a little too late for that. <laughs> because, it, 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 because he's behind that one critical turn that would have been the turning point in the uh, damage calculation. Okay, two to Zapdos. Because you see, now I'm going to put that on Hitmonchan. And now if you take a look... I'll be able to do 10 damage Zapdos on the next turn if he knocks out my Spearow with Zapdos. See what I mean? So that, I thought, was a mistake because he, he didn't have his Zapdos in safety territory from my my critters here, so... Well... <laughs> anyway, I should probably go trade Machamp back in the deck and grab Voltorb. Just for the sake of some extra speedy attacks. I'm not gonna Professor Oak just yet, because I just wanna get dump out my hand of everything. And we're gonna wing attack. He may attack with Zapdos, but at this point it doesn't much matter, because I'm just gonna hit Monchan attack. Oh no, 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 this is not good. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> he might get that Aerodactyl. Oh, oh here it is! Here, it is. <laughs> here we go! Who's it gonna hit? What's it gonna hit? It's gonna hit... HIS OWN POKEMON! <laughs> this is why you never, 
ever use that. <laughs> uh, why would you use that attack over the other attack? Well, couldn't you use the other attack? Because you might do 20 damage to yourself. That was a lot of damage to Spearow. It's kind of overkill, too, so... Anyway, Hitmonchan. But yeah, the Zapdos... Oh, no, like, oh, I see! Raging Thunder is three specific. That's right! So that's how you use the Thunder Crash. You just really wanted that knockout. Well, you got it, I guess. But at what cost? At what cost? Anyway, I should probably begin my hand dumping as I was promising you. And I, yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to discard those yet. I mean, I'm in pretty good position in in terms of all the energy that I need. Cause I, yeah, I, I don't really need to use the Hitmonchan right now per se, since I got this one at full health, and I just need to power up these two. And since I have the energy guaranteed, I think I'll just go ahead and special punch a Zapdos, not Professor Oak just yet. Gust of Wind. Oh. There, there it is! Uh, should I just let it power itself up and have him destroy himself or something? <laughs> Maybe! I don't know. It's, it's very possible, I suppose, that he could sweep my entire side with that since it does 30 damage. I, I, I guess. You know, it's, it's possible. Just like, it's possible for all the planets to go into alignment after an asteroid hits them all into the correct alignment during the making of this part, but it's it's possible. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do a sneaky thing here. I'm going to go Gustavin over to that Voltorb and then jab, because what I can do with that is get all of his Pokémon down to the lowest, except for this Zapdos, and then it's just kind of... <laughs> Just kind of gets him in a position where he might just zap himself all day and all night. If he decides to power up Zapdos, and he did. Uh, we'll see if he does. I mean, just if he wants to. <laughs> um, guess I'll put it on Electabuzz. Maybe what I'll do actually is switch. Just to speed things along here. And Thunder Punch. Heads please. Thank you. I appreciate it. That means guaranteed now, no matter what, two more attacks will take out that Zapdos. Unless he scoops out. Oh, oh! <laughs> Here we go! What's it gonna hit? Let's roll the dice! It's gonna hit. Oh, it actually hit mine! <laughs> it's about time! <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I should probably go. Wait, what actually? What? Mm. It's mostly lightning for that. I guess I'll do a Hitmonchan then. And another bunch! Yeah, this, I appreciate that. Then I won't take 10 to myself. Even though it wouldn't matter anyway. But, oh, a potion. Oh, maybe it will matter then. Because now I need a coin flip heads. Oh, oh, he might be going for the big thunder! Which you could very well wipe out. His Voltar, do 70 damage to his Zapdos. Um. I wonder if I should Professor Oak. I mean, I, 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 mean, I think I will. I mean, I'll lose the evolutionary line, but I might not be able to play them anyway if you play his Aerodactyl, so. I'm not too concerned with that. I got other good fighting Pokemon here in general already, so. And also, I think I should probably vers give some. Diversity heads, please? Nope. Tails this time. Alright, so that's, he's probably gonna try for the Big Thunder then. Which means... Hilarity may ensue! Oh, oh. He's not going for that particular Big Thunder. He's going for this Big Thunder, maybe. And... Hitmonchan, I guess. Thunder Shock, just to make sure I don't do damage to myself, just in case. Although, if he puts in Zapdos in play, that could, I guess, threaten this Electabuzz. You know, I mean, from the hand. I don't mean from the bench into play. Oh, he's, oh, he's out of energy! <laughs> um, I guess I'll keep Thunder Punching. If I tap Tails, it doesn't much matter if I'm not taking damage anyway, you know, it, uh, from the opponent's Pokémon, because it's not like the math is currently in his favor. So, come on, put another Zapdos in play. <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, I think he's got both of them already in play. I think he's only got the, the two, if I recall, offhand. I forgot. It, it doesn't much matter. As you, as you know, these Zapdos are not all that big of a threat or anything like that. And Thunder Punch. Tails. That's okay. So, if he, unless he potions the Zapdos again, he'll be able to... I mean, we basically have it in the same position that it was before. And he's going... Oh, ooh! The sneak attack. I see. Super potion on the Zapdos, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, why why evolve... I mean, why uh, heal the Electrode when I can just wipe it out with the uh, Hitmonchan? And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead... I guess Diversify... And 80 damage special punch for the fun of it, even though I only needed the jab for the 40 double damage. <laughs> Alright, so you got your resistance, oh, you got your Electabuzz. Uh, oh, if I Gust of Wind into that Electabuzz with Hitmonchan, that's game over. Uh, huh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well... We had a good match, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Well, I'm happy I got Steve, because that's always fun to see what that Zapdos is gonna do. <laughs> You're the winner! You did great! You've done it, Mint! Congratulations! We have a Grandmaster Cup Champion! Unique music! <laughs> now then, it's time to choose your prizes. So I get to choose two of these cards. Uh, probably not. <laughs> also, probably not. So probably this and this. <laughs> Just in all honesty, for the sake of deck building as our champion, then please take these cards as your prizes. As our nice Cybern Mewtwo. I mean, excuse me, energy spikes. Uh, Mewtwo has yeah, basic energy card, and and also telekinesis. Choose which Pokemon that you want to attack. Yada yada yada. You know that one actually. I don't know. Why I thought. I wonder why I thought said energy burn one. That's not the one for sure. And flying Pikachu. Yay! It's the airplane one. If Ed's defending Pokemon is all paralyzed, fly. They stop all damage, etc., etc. You know the deal. <laughs> That's all you've won, though, Mint. No matter... I, I, I read that if you play in this, whether you win or lose, you get the coin. For your victory, please also take this special coin. <laughs> Happy days! <laughs> and thus, the final page still has a way to go. <laughs> Once more, congratulations, Mint! Mint has been dubbed as the Grandmaster Cup Champion! With that, the Grandmaster Cup comes to a close. Goodbye, everyone! And we're ejected. <laughs> wow, congrats, Mint! Please stop by for the next Grandmaster Cup as well. Uh, wow, you guys really do have the same dialogue, no matter what. Hey, hey, how'd you end up doing the Grandmaster Cup? You were not watching, were you? Did you become the tournament champion? Why, yes! Did you fight a Grandmaster? Why, yes! That's it? <laughs> I've heard that you're the champion of the Grandmaster. Okay, there. You heard! Why not the other person? That's amazing, Mint. You're like a Grandmaster yourself. I suppose. Yep. I came over from, from the Grand Island. Yep. Grand Island. GR Island just to participate in the Grandmaster Cup. This tournament was my big chance to have a duel with the Grandmaster. It was an amazing battle! My heart is still pumping! Wait, did you have a... Yeah, it was your chance, but... But... What do you... The, 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 it was your heart pumping for me, or did you get to battle a Grandmaster? I... I'm not too sure about that, and I'm not the way that you worded that. <laughs> Maybe I'll converse with her about that and end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when my card adventure continues.